In this little section, we're going to talk about the philosophical principles guiding this class. When designing the class, I wanted to make sure we were maximizing the wonderful tools available to us online and exploring new ways of learning and thinking that are now available to us in our 21st century online world. After all, that is the point of this class. I'm trying to balance the need to create a sense of structure and organization while also avoid mirroring the typical class where everyone gathers for a teacher-driven lecture and students dutifully study for an online quiz. So with that thought in mind, here are some of the principles I'm striving to infuse into the class. <clears throat> First, imagination and creativity. We live in an era transformed by technology. We're experiencing a global shift in the way we communicate, collaborate, create, make decisions. 21st century music educators live in a time when exercising imagination and creativity is desperately needed. The students we teach are going to live in a world that was very much, that's very much unlike what we grew up with. So I'm open to new ideas and I hope you'll remain open too. Next, risk taking. We're all going to be taking some risks as, as we reveal ourselves in new ways and develop projects that take advantage of new technologies. Error is inevitable and we'll all be just happier if we can laugh about it and move on. Uh, I feel even a little weird making movies, but hey, we're going forward. <clears throat> Third, uh, maybe this isn't a, well, it is a philosophy, and that is I believe that we need to be project-based in learning. Our world as educators is project-based. Our concerts are projects. Our units of instruction are projects. It's a big responsibility to design and execute a project, but it's our life and it's the life towards which many of our students rightfully aspire. Projects allow us to construct our own learning. And let's face it, if if we're not designing our own projects, we're probably going to be helping somebody else make their project come alive. So project-based work is part of leadership. Fourth item is that we, is respect for the dignity of every individual. We're all adult teachers with adult lives. I will always try to go the extra mile to understand where each person in the class is coming from, and I hope that you will too. I respect immensely your role as a music teacher. If you need help or flexibility with an assignment, just set up an appointment and we'll talk about it. Which brings us to number five, and that is empathy. And this goes along with respect. Empathy for our fellow humans takes on new dimensions in the 21st century when it's easy to depersonalize people and turn learning into a commodity. Learning empathy in this new world may be the ultimate 21st century skill. Six, a sense of trust. I will trust that by investing your hard-earned dollars in this class, you're invested in your learning and that you're going to grow. Uh, I ask that you reflect upon where you're at and push yourself to go to a new place. And I'm going to trust that you're going to do that. Um, and then a sense of flow. I've created four units to structure the class roughly into four segments. After this, uh, after this orientation week, each of the three units will be uh, about three weeks long. And within each unit, I've prepared, or I'm preparing, because this class is my project this semester, <clears throat> I've prepared various materials and tools. I'm imagining that different students will engage themselves with the material in different ways. Sometimes you may prefer to work independently and other times come together with the class, me or your colleagues. I will go with the flow and I hope you will too. Let's just keep talking and be honest and share. Thank you. <laughs>